Hey guys, this day has come. I've decided to make a video about Procreate Dreams as well. So I started with repeating the animation of the liquid ball. During the process, I will comment on the differences between Procreate Dreams and Procreate. Let's go. So we start with creating a canvas. Here you can immediately choose a template. I choose a square. Press the menu with three dots. I have already selected the settings frames per second to 12 and the duration of the composition two seconds. You can also press the label and select the frame size. I choose HD and press the button draw. Well, here we are starting the animation. We see that the first frame is already added and the drawing mode is selected. Choose the desired color and fold the panel to flipbook. Now we need to draw the path along which the ball will move. Done. Now close the flipbook. To put this frame as a background for the entire animation, hold down the frame and in the pop-up menu, select full duration. By the way, to view the entire length of the animation, use the gesture pinch. The main advantage of Dreams for me is the use of tracks. In Procreate, we usually group layers into folders for this, but here different objects can live in different independent planes. So create a new track. We will draw marks for distributing speed. I choose a new color, go to flipbook, and start drawing marks. The principle is that the closer the marks, the slower the movement will be in this place. In the foreground, I want the speed to be higher and behind less. And another point is that the gaps between the marks should not be the same so as not to have a linear effect. To understand the speed of movement, keep in mind that since we chose 12 frames per second, 12 marks will take one second. Close the flipbook and also select full duration on this frame. Super, we have a base ready. Now create a new track and proceed to create a circle. Choose a new color and go to flipbook. Unfortunately, there is no support for gestures to create perfect shapes here, so you're on your own. Stabilizing the brush in the settings can help you. But here, unlike Procreate, figures are not cut off beyond the edges of the canvas. Now close the flipbook. And switch to the default mode. For this, press the drawing mode again. Duplicate the frame through long tap. Select it and move it to the center of the next mark. To make it easier, turn on onion skin by tapping the timer on the left. There is an item with settings. You can experiment with what suits you best. Now duplicate circles on each mark. Let's speed up a bit. By the way, in Procreate Dreams, the preview will only be visible for those frames that are currently visible on the timeline. So before that, do a pinch. Okay, let's look at the first preview. Tap four fingers opens the canvas on the whole screen. Super, let's move on. I want to add changes in size in the background. One of the nice things about Procreate Dreams is that the quality doesn't degrade when you scale it up, unlike Procreate. To scale a figure, pull on the points along the edges. The process is quite convenient. Look at the preview. Okay. Now select the timeline edit mode. Draw a pencil over the first two tracks. Group them through a long tap. Now you can apply transparency to the entire group. For this, go to the first frame. Press the pink menu and select filter. Cool, I also like it. Now let's go ahead and draw a tail to the ball. I draw on the same frames as the ball. The principle is that the longer the tail, the faster the ball moves. Actually, one of the main disadvantages of Procreate Dreams is the lack of support for drawing functions using gestures to draw perfect shapes. I really hope they will add it soon. Well, let's speed up. Look at the preview. I want to reduce the size of the ball even more in the background. Switch to default mode and similarly to previous actions, reduce the necessary frames. Preview. I think it looks more dynamic now. Now in the timeline edit mode, I group all the frames of this track and duplicate them. I drag the duplicate to a new layer. I turn off the first group. Guys, I'm doing this so I have a contour version for a cool shorts, so you don't have to do it. 
unfold the group and start dragging the color for filling. By the way, filling is the most annoying thing in Procreate Dreams. A thin white line appears between the outline and the center, which cannot be removed. I just draw over it with a brush to remove it. When filling, I immediately adjust the shape, as this is its final appearance. Look at the preview. Oh, I noticed that I accidentally drew an extra frame. I delete it. Look again. Well, finally it's time for splashes. Create a new track and draw drops chasing the main shape. At first, the drop should move faster and gradually decrease. Drops can also be broken, so it will look more interesting and dynamic. So guys, today we repeated the animation of the liquid ball in Procreate Dreams. Also, I have a video with the same animation in Procreate on my channel, so watch if you're interested in comparing. Is it worth continuing to shoot about dreams? Thank you and see you later.